Precept 31UL from Jayco here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Best handling, quietest riding, Class A gas in its class, man. They uh, they go through some pretty extreme measures to make uh, their their Jayco Class A gas uh, you know um, motorhomes here ride really nicely. The whole point of their motorhomes, their theory is that your journey starts, your adventure starts the moment you leave your driveway with a motorhome. Whereas like with a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, it really starts once you get there. You know, you have a little fun in the truck, but mostly you're just driving in your truck. And motorhome, you got stuff happening inside while you're going down the road. Now, they, they've done some things to make it enjoyable getting there. Like the fact that this has the same one piece, massive max view windshield, largest windshield in its class. This has the same windshield as the $600,000 Integra Class A diesel pushers that they build down at Jayco. Super impressive, not to mention the fact that they have a one-piece full nose cap. More seams in a nose cap means more potential leak points. The noses will tend to fail quicker than anything else because of the air push from headwinds working on those seams. Considering this is all one piece with no seams and the seams are on the side of the trailer, you're just way less likely to experience that kind of failure. Not to mention the fact you have the biggest viewing angle and the thinnest bars right here of anything in its class. You have the best possible viewing in this thing. Uh, this rides on a, a Ford Triton V10, uh, well it has a Ford Triton V10 power plant, 6.8 liter on, a, on the Ford chassis obviously. Standard um, heated side mirrors with turn signal cameras. As soon as you turn on your turn signal, your little all-in-one touchscreen navigation DVD everything system uh, in your dashboard becomes your side view camera. So you can make sure you're clear to change lanes. And what's nice about this, most of this is cookie cutter, meaning standard stuff. When things are standardized, you have um, better quality control. You have, uh, you know, the same guy builds the same thing the same way every single time. You eliminate as much chance of failure as humanly possible. But in the event that they do have an off day, by the way, 5,500 Onan uh, generator standard on every single precept. If they do have an off day, they have double the warranty of anybody else in this class. That's huge. They have double the warranty, guys. Two year, 24,000 mile. And that 24,000 miles is kind of like one of those laughable things. Ford makes them put that on there. But if you ever manage to somehow touch 24,000 miles on a motorhome, usually within five to 10 years, I'll be very, very, very impressed. You don't drive motorhomes a lot. You don't put the miles on them unless you live in them full time. That's, and that's, that's just not the common thing. Um, another cool thing on here that I was really surprised to see, um, the, uh, the dump station has a built-in little adapter so you can hook it right up when you're not hooked on things like I was, hook it right up to like your on-site sewer or the drain area. Now, what's cool too is in here, there's basically like a little slurry machine. It uh, effectively just mangles everything that you have in your black tank and allows you to um, pressurize and dump your system twice as fast as you normally will. You're gonna spend less time messing with your dump station with a precept just because of that. Even the dump station on this is superior to what you normally find. One piece fiberglass roof. That is something that you won't usually encounter in this class. Um, you know, this has the same uh, roof structure basically again as the big diesel pusher motorhomes. It's built in one piece, hoisted up and, in, and assembled as one solid shot. It's got, uh, you know, um, aluminum roof trusses, like I said, one piece fiberglass membrane. It's just, it's as close to foolproof as you can humanly get. But again, if there is now a chance for human failure, they have doubled the amount of money they're willing to put on it here at Jayco, a double the warranty time. Um, the, uh, you know, it's fully ready for hitching, towing, four-way, seven-way plugs, anything you want. Um, tankless water heater on precepts, unlimited hot water. That does mean propane only. That also means that uh, you, you like to take hot, long showers, or you need to take a couple of them back to back, not a problem. This one can get you there. Outdoor entertainment system because Hey, you're roughing it, man. We're camping, right? <laughs> Gotta have a little fun. Um, your, uh, you know, when you're going down the road uh, or when you're parked, you see you have a bigger, way bigger window. Biggest window in its class in the door of your, of your precepts. Also, keyless entry system is standard so that if you are, let's say you're going kayaking or something like that, you don't want to accidentally lose your keys in the water. Don't worry about it. Don't bring your keys. Um, step inside for you here. I didn't really talk much about the J-Ride system, which is a really, really big part of this. Long story short, 
They have extra stabilization on your front wheels. The whole drivetrain, the whole powertrain is balanced as one system, not as three independent pieces like most manufacturers tend to do. You have um, isolation mounts and jounce bouncers uh, to basically soak those shocks from like say speed bumps or potholes or something on the road before they get translated into your steering wheel, into your seating or into your roof and your windows. Um, the J-Ride system is a really big deal. It's what makes this thing handle so well. It fights headwinds so much better because of the anti-sway bars that they put on this. They actually either replace or reinforce all the Ford factory anti-sway from the chassis. It's really impressive and you should really look up their video on it because they, they go the extra mile to really, really uh, make this thing handle well. By the way, the color scheme we're looking at in here looks like, I don't know, is that cappuccino? Something like that. Long story short, the fabrics that we're looking at in here and a couple other things that are options, not standard stuff. Um, this video is here to be just kind of educational stock footage. Not every single 31UL is going to look like this. Not even every single 31UL that we carry. So, a couple things here. We've got uh, the a nice little dinette, but notice that you don't have pedestal legs under here. This is Jayco's dream dinette system. You can simply push on it to put it down into a sleeper position and then lift it up with one hand to put it back up where you want it and then you can simply lock it in place. You saw how difficult that was. That's not a big deal. You, your main living room TV, this big like 40 inch plus monster over here, actually has this nice little hideaway switch down here so that if you want to, you can hide this thing out of the way and just get a really big scenic viewing window that looks right out under your awning, right at your campsite, right where you want it, essentially. Um, up front here, we have twin six-way power captain's chairs. Typically at this class, only the driver's seat is six-way power. Obviously, they both swivel as well. Now, with that big window, comes a lot of light and a lot of scenic views. But I had someone uh, respond to one of my previous videos that says, Man, I can't believe they didn't put some kind of curtain or something up front on these windows. They, they were judging this thing before they even took a chance to look at it. And that's what I mean. There is so much going on in a precept that you can't judge it just by a couple pictures or even my video. I've been told so many times that my videos are very descriptive and very helpful and I really go in depth way more than anybody else ever has with anything they've ever seen. I get that feedback almost daily at this point and I really appreciate it. But... I can't possibly cover every single thing of every single RV. If this is like close with the, the exception of one feature, you gotta call because there's a chance it's probably there. And I just I can't cover everything every time. Um, your uh, navigation system down here, this is everything. Right now I've got, uh, this is a side view mirror. This, <laughs> the slide out is out right now so we can't really see much. But again, uh, you can kick this over to navigation. You gotta go through the initial setup which I haven't done yet. But long story short, what's cool is it even shows you like where there are gas stations, um, you can plan your routes, it can be voice activated, it can do everything. You just have to do this one time setup that unfortunately I wasn't prepared for. Now it's going to tell me, yes, you have to read this in a second, you can say, sure, I've read it. Look at the map. So right here you can see how it's figuring out where we're at, it's showing you where there's gas stations, you're heading, um, I mean, your speed, everything. This can do everything. Let's say your speedometer on your dashboard goes absolutely haywire. Don't worry about it. You have a GPS track speedometer down here. It does everything. It's so cool. Generator start stop up here. Your full um, level system controls are up here. That's another thing at this price point. Not every RV is going to have a big full leveling system like this one. Um, even extra storage above here. Now, there is an option to put a power bunk up here. Keep in mind, Jayco's power bunk, first of all, is power, not manual, because there are manual overhead bunks in the Class A business out there, and those are not fun. Um, secondly, it has 750-pound capacity here, not a 350-pound capacity you find out of a lot of, unfortunately, lesser-built products. The uh, little power outlets and 12-volt outlet up here for your co-pilot station. And uh, while you're going down the road, the inverter keeps all of these household outlets in the cockpit area powered and running so you can keep uh, like your phones and tablets and all that stuff charged up and good to go. Um, dinette in the slide out with the TV that hides away. We have the full kitchen and sofa slide over here. So you have just a big monster living room with tons of walking space when you get there. What's nice is there's still a nice little walkway when you're going down the road too so you can still use the whole coach anytime. By the way, in case you're curious, Blu-ray system standard with any single precept. Um, uh, the, uh, you know, they don't chintz anything here. And again, I mean, look at these, these doors, first of all. They're super, super well built. Secondly, everything in here is hidden hinge cabinetry. Everything has double 
metal supporting struts to keep these overhead doors open out of the way so you don't have to juggle them with your head. Now you actually have a lot of kitchen storage here. It's just super condensed down and you don't realize it. You've got uh, multiple drawers going on over here. So you've got lots of drawer space. By the way, the power outlets everywhere. And a lot of them in key places also have USB plugs right on the power outlets. You just kind of have to look around and see where those are at. So we've got a double set of massive pots and pans drawers down here. We have four full extension drawers with an extending peninsula countertop right here. Check that out. You have all the counter... That's what's so cool. This floor plan is awesome. It does everything you need when you need it. You need a big kitchen? Great. Extend the kitchen. You got it. You need more sleeping? Great. Hide a bed. We got it. Dinette? We got it. You want viewing? You have a window. You want a TV? You got a TV. You want privacy? You get that. You want viewing? Open up the shades. You can do that too. This floor plan just does everything. And again, those nightshades there, they do a monster job. They really do. Um, let's see here. Back to the task at hand. Oh, air conditioning. Standard centralized 28,500 BTU air system. It just it blows anything else away that they're putting in this class right now. Um, also, your main air unit right here has a heat pump built on it as well. So you have an electric heater or air conditioning unit right here. You don't have to burn up your propane. We did upgrade the one here in this video to a 12 cubic foot side-by-side -side refrigerator. Standard, you have a 10 cubic foot, which is a two-door, with a pantry next to it. So this gives you more cold storage. The standard build gives you more dry storage. It's a push and a pull. It just It's tough to decide which way to go because they're both really good, you know. Um, it's very uh, common, you know, middle bathroom, middle shower section right here. That's that's a very space efficient design. They've been using a motor home since the dawn of time. And they will use until the end of time because it just works very, very well. Um, bedroom back here, we have a full bed in the slide. Um, Jayco spends more money on their bedding than anybody else in this class. That's a big deal. Again, second centralized AC. Both AC units, by the way, have their own thermostat. So um, you can run each air independently. You can make the system work together. You can do whatever you want. This whole wall is just nothing but storage, man. This is awesome. Even storage behind the television. How cool is that? Now, uh, as we come over here, just to give you an idea, you've got four of these big drawers going on. So you've got tons of storage here. You have a full complement of dressers down below that I haven't even opened all the way up yet. And I love the styling on this. It's very... Um, I don't know. It's very Eastern, I guess. Uh, and I, I kind of like that. It's just very cool. It's space efficient. I don't know. It's fun. And the fact that both of these doors here are mirrored means all the light reflecting off this big window gets doubled. And I mean, that's that's really the reason that it's it's just nice and bright. It's bright enough that the camera has to darken thinking, hey, it's too bright. See there, uh, when I'm not pointed right at a window, you get to see the, the woodwork and everything light up and shine right up. Um, again, there's so much I haven't touched on and you can't judge this RV just off my tour. I've tried really hard to give you that extra information other people won't always touch on, but there is so much more to get into. And really, you can't even fairly judge this thing until you take it for a test drive. So give us a call. Let's put, let's, let's get behind the wheel and go for a spin in this thing. 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Go have some fun.